Hello everybody, this is Alicia. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. I live in St. Paul, Minnesota. And today I would like to show you um, a little uh, treat holder that I made using the mini pocket envelope dies. So let's get started. Okay, so these are the dies. Um, for the mini pocket envelope dies. This is an awesome set for more reasons than just to make this pocket envelope die. It comes with this awesome um, bow builder die. So this is part of the bow and this is part of the bow. And then it comes with these great little uh, sentiment and um, other dies. It has a leaf die with it. This is um, for tags, that you could make a tag um, to go in your little envelope. These are the little punches. This is such, I just absolutely love this. Um, mini pocket envelope dies. I almost missed this and I didn't see it right away and I'm so glad I did because this is such a great, great set of dies. We are going, this is what we're making today. I mean, how cute is this? with the hippos. I absolutely love these hippos and we are using the sentiment from that and obviously the hippo and I, we're going to make the bow and we're going to put the little pocket envelope together and <laughs> this is one of those blueberry um, Kit Kats, blueberry muffin. I haven't tried it yet but I mean this goes with Orchid Oasis like beautifully. So that's why. So those are the colors we're using. Real red. We're using the DSP from Gingham Cottage. And we are using Orchid Oasis cardstock. So let's get started. So I've already die cut. I want to keep this so that you guys can see it. <clears throat> I have already die cut the pieces that we are going to use. And the, the biggest die obviously cuts out your little pocket and it does have the little um, there you go it does have the little um, score lines so that you know where to fold your little envelope so all you do is you're just gonna take it and you're just going to fold it and burnish it at the score lines and you will be able to see them once you run it through your uh, cut and emboss machine. We're just going to take it and we're just going to crease it and we're going to burnish it. Well, not like that. <laughs> just like that. Okay, and then there's one at the bottom. Don't you just love this um, Ginga, Gingham Cottage? Cottage Gingham, I think it is. DSP. I just love it. All the colors that come with it. So pretty. Okay, and so then you have, that will be your, your pocket. And what is really cool about this, it's got that little um, scalloped edge on there, just like this. Yeah, I really like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just use some multi-purpose glue, <clears throat> and we're going to put them on the inside of where you just folded those little flaps. Just like so and then you're just going to bring it over and you're just going to press down. This is such a cute and easy little, this could be for anything. That's such a cute little pocket. You could put this on a card and make a pocket card. And there's your envelope. It's super easy. These will be great to do multiples if you're um, doing like a, like a Christmas treat or any kind of treat. Halloween. These would be great for Halloween. Absolutely wonderful. They would go great with the best um, witches set or the bewitching. Oh, that would be cute too or scary cute. Yeah. So there's your pocket. And then to make the bow, the paper bow, all you do is you just take it and on these in the center you just put a little dot of glue. You could use your um, 
mini glue dots and then you're just going to fold it over and hold it. Just make sure that it's straight. So as you can see that's all I, that you do is you just fold it over and I'm just holding it so that it's secure. And then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to put a little dot of glue and you're just going to fold it over like so. Just like that. Just make sure that it's straight. And there's your little, your little bowl. And then you are going to take the other piece and you are going to fold it over twice. So you are going to take this and you're going to fold it like so. And then you're going to bring th this piece up like this and fold it over. So then you have your cute little paper bow. See? But we need to glue it. So I'm going to just bend it over. Make sure that it's straight. I'm going to put a little dot of glue here. And like I said, you can use your mini glue dots too. That would work great too. And you're just going to fold that over. And then hold it into place. Okay, so there you have your cute little bow. I mean, how cute is that, you guys? I think those are so cute. I absolutely love it. And then if you're... You got, you know, if you don't like the little crease, I just take a colored pencil, one of the watercolor pencils, and then I just kind of go in there just to get it to, to floof up a little bit. You can bend them. It works really good with the DSPs a little bit thinner, but I wanted to use this cardstock. And then I just kind of floof it up a little bit, just like you would when you're tying, you know, a, a ribbon bow. So that's it for that. Okay, and we're going to take our little die cut that we cut from the die cut set and we're going to use the You're So Hip with the Orchid Oasis. So we match our Kit Kat and our bow and we are just going to stamp it like that. Okay, and then let's color our little cute little hippo. And I am using gray granite. I'm using the light granny apple green, the light flirty flamingo, and the dark real red for my hippo. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dark uh, gray granite and I'm going to use the, the bullet end or the pen tip end, not the brush end. And I'm going to make my shadows where I, my shading where our shadows would be. So like there at the creases of his arms and then like under his little belly here and his chin, I think there would be some shadows, maybe a couple right here, same on this part. Okay, I'm just going to go like this. And I think, let's see, let's add a little bit over here. And then, oh, maybe a little bit under here would be, I think, a little shadow. <clears throat> then I'm going to take my light gray granite with the brush tip, and I'm going to blend that in. Just like so. And I'm not going to go over the little fingernails, because I want to paint those in flirty flamingo. And all you're going to do is you're just going to use your brush tip to blend in your, your dark. So it just looks like a little bit of shadowing. And be careful not to go over the flower. Just like so. And now you could do a two-toned 
hippo. You could use a darker on his body and a lighter on his his snout or his face. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of blush to like he's a little bit embarrassed maybe or just a little bit, oh, so sweet, the little rosy cheeks. So I'm just going to add some light flirty flamingo before I go over with my light gray granite. And they don't have to be perfect circles. And now I'm going to finish with my brush end of my gray granite, my light gray granite. And we are just going to blend over that. So you just get a little bit of a hint of that blushing cheek there. I'm going to be careful not to go over the eye that's not winking. I just think these hippos are so, so cute. And now you know that, in, in by now you probably know, but with Celebration, if you place an order in my online store, $50 and over, you can earn the hippo stamp set and the die cut would be another 50 So if you wanted the hippos and the dies, it would be $100. But if you wanted just the stamp set, you could do that with a $50 order in my online store. Okay, so let's add a little flirty flamingo to his little ears here. It could be a her too, I suppose. I guess we are giving it pink fingernails, so we're just going to color them like so. And now we are going to take our light granny apple green for that little tiny leaf there. I want that to stick out. And then we are going to take our dark real red to match our envelope, our pocket envelope, will be the little flower. Okay, so here we have our little hippo and our little bow. So I'm just going to turn these guys over. This I'm going to use all-purpose glue and put this in the bottom corner. Take it. And we are going to put that here. And then I am going to take a mini dimensional and we're going to put that like that in the center of the bow. We're going to put that right here. Just like so. And I'm going to take some bigger dimensionals. This is an extra leftover sheet that I have cut the sides off. Might as well use that all up, right? Don't throw anything away. <laughs> okay, so we're going to peel these off. And just like that, we are going to have a super cute little pocket envelope. We're going to place this little guy right here, like his hip is right next to your so hip. And like you see, you can just take your Kit Kat and put it in there. And there you have your so hip pocket treat. And here's the other one. You can do the, the red in there. And then there is white, the white chocolate. You could put a white one in there. So here you go. These are made using the mini envelope dies, the mini pocket envelope dies. I just love everything that goes with it. I love all the little tags that go with it. And this bow. I absolutely love these paper bows. So, oh, we forgot to add the little embellishments. I always forget the embellishments. I have these little iridescent um, little guys on here. So let's put a couple of these on. Yeah, gotta have a little bling. I always forget to put the bling on. Just like before, I'm gonna take a picture of my my you know creations. I always forget to add the little bit of bling. So there, now we got some bling on there too. Can you see that? There you go. There's our Your So Hip mini pocket envelopes. Thanks for watching. Bye now.